what are your love languages? In this video, we're going to go deep into love languages. Now, this is an amazing, life-changing tool from a book by a guy called Gary Chapman called The Five Love Languages. And I teach this at my workshops, retreats. I just did a speaking gig yesterday, did a panel discussion, and I was teaching about this because this changed everything. Mm -hmm. So open your ears, open your minds. Let's go straight into it. Everybody has different love languages. So your love language is a way that you like to receive love and also show love. And in this book, it talks about there being five main languages. So I'm just going to explain what the five are, and then we'll tell you what our love languages are, and then you can figure out what your main love languages are. Once you do this, everything will shift. Like, how did finding out about love languages change things for you? Everything changed our relationship dynamic completely because we realized we have similar one or two of the same love languages but I have one that is probably at the bottom of his love language list and so I was feeling unloved a lot of the times I was like why doesn't he tell me mm, this is giving it away <laughs> why doesn't he tell me I'm beautiful why doesn't he tell me these things and I thought it was something about me but I realized and the more I went into it that he didn't want the same things he didn't care if he got words of affirmation and that it was important to me. And so we communicated it. And when I real when I feel like I'm being I need more words to say to him, babe, I need more words, can you please top up my word tank? And we've come up with cool, interesting, fun ways to do that for each other, to meet each other's needs. Because it is like a need, right? Yeah. It is a need. It is like you know, you have basic needs like food, water. In a relationship, you have basic needs and everyone has different ones and your partners have different love languages to you, maybe. maybe so, you have the same. here are the yes. five love languages as described by Gary Chapman. First, love language. Yeah. So, a lot of people express love through physical touch. Physical touch is my top love language. So, if I really love someone, if I want to show them affection, I'll be very huggy. I'll give them massages. I was the guy in the office who would go give people shoulder rubs and I got kind of a reputation as the guy who like gives people shoulder rubs and it was kind of in a, seen as a bit of a weird thing to some people, but people who love physical touch, they loved mm. it, right? We love hugs, we love connecting physically, stroking each other, really, really beautiful. By the way, no love language is better or worse than the others. Everyone is perfectly awesome and just different. Second love language, quality time. This means you love spending time with people. This means presence is so important for you. Quality time is my second highest love language. So you can actually take a test online to find out what your love language is. Now post that link below. And it breaks you. it down in percentages as well. So you have a good idea as to what your top ones are. Yeah, it's really good. So Quality time is my second one. So if we're having a conversation and you're checking your phone, that for me is very triggering because then you're not giving me quality time. So for me, that's all I want. I'm super easy. Physical touch, quality time. And also quality time is like dates. It's taking time out to do new things together. It's for some people, it's just sitting in front of the telly and watching TV together. It's that quality time for some people. Mm. Everyone's version of quality time is different. In my case, it a lot of the times it involves dates. So I get very cranky if it's been a while and he hasn't taken me out on a nice date. Mm. And he gets really cranky if I've been if we're together and I'm on my phone the whole time or if I'm on my phone a lot. Because although both of our love language is quality time, quality time means different things to both of us. And so it's important to communicate once you figure out your love language to figure out what you actually really like within that love language and within quality time. What makes you feel good? What makes you feel loved within that? So for me, it's date nights. And that is really important to me in our relationship. For him, it's really important that we try new things together, go on, go to events, go to courses. That for him is his intense quality time. So yeah. Third, 
love language words of affirmation i'll let mia take over this one so words of affirmation for some people it might be their partner writing them poetry it might be writing them writing you a song or it could be as simple as acknowledging that you're doing good hey baby what you did that talk you did earlier on was amazing and you did so good or it could be leaving some notes around the house just to remind you that you're beautiful and that you're loved it's not that you don't feel good enough within yourself that you need the, the valid it's not for validation which a lot of the times people get confused about that oh does that mean you're insecure you need validation you want compliments it's not necessarily that it's just what makes me feel loved when he does that it's like oh and in our relationship initially it caused a lot of problems because he would pretty much never give me words because it's not important to him and i'd be like what and i'd write him stuff and i'd leave him cute cards and everything and i'd be like why don't you do that for me like why don't you love me <laughs> why don't, don't you not think i'm pretty do you not love me and when we went really deep into this we realized that it was because words of affirmation is, is important to me not from a place of neediness or validation but just because it makes me feel loved the thing about love languages is mm. if your top love language is physical touch mm. and the other person's top love language is words if you're giving them hugs all the time and massages you can think you're you're giving them mm. love but they're not receiving it because they just want you to tell them they're beautiful and that they're amazing and you want you're loving them how you like to be loved not how they like to be loved yeah so it's kind of like you're speaking french and they only understand german and it's mm. totally you think you're giving them love and you're getting really frustrated like mm. i spent so much time with you last week but they're like yeah but we hardly even touched each other so you have to be really conscious of what your par your partner's yeah. love language are. And it's important to do that in the beginning of any kind of relationship. It could be even a business relationship. I always ask my friends, what's your love language? Yeah. And like one of my really beautiful best friends, Lulu, love physical touch isn't important to her. So when we go around hers, it's like there's a lot of distance when we're like in bed laying down. But words of affirmation and quality time is so important to her. So we spend so much time together just talking and it's amazing and just going deep and that's what she loves but if you get too huggy touchy with her she's like <laughs> yeah, nice yeah. Fourth, fourth love language gifts mm -hmm. some people love to show their affection by buying people gifts yeah. and they love to receive love when they get gifts it's the best thing for them you buy them flowers they are like this is amazing. You you get them something thoughtful, some their favorite their favorite treat. They're like, wow, like this is the best thing. It's not about them being materialistic or shallow. It's just how they like to be loved. And it doesn't have to be big gestures. It could just be a gift is a handwritten note with a lot of thought into it. A gift is picking up some olive oil on the way that you know they ran out of in their home. It's just the thought behind gifts that I know. My friends whose love language is gifts, that's all they care about. It's the thought behind things. It's the effort. Mm. For me, when I speak to people with whose love language is gifts, it, the, the thing that keeps coming up is effort and thought. Mm. Nice. nice. So, yeah. Beautiful. Fifth, Fifth. love language is called acts, acts of, of service. service. So if acts of service is one of your top love languages, you just love to do things for people. Mm. You love to make them meals. You love to That's run them baths. Like this is so you, this is how you show you, you love them. My my stepdad's amazing, and he when we grew up, he would always fix my car like that. But he just loved fixing my car, and that was how he showed his love was by doing that. And you know, a lot of people's mums they love to make them meals. They love to show them they love them by making them meals all the time. My dad's love languages, I think, acts of service as well. Same thing with my mum. So this is a really beautiful kind of people to be around. I've got an amazing friend who he just loves to to give yeah. like whatever you need. He's just like, let me help you, let me support you, let me serve you, and and I love being around these kind of people. Mm. This isn't one of my top love languages. So so when people cook for me, when people clean for me, when people do that kind of stuff, it's nice. But it doesn't really fill me up with love so much as if they just come and give me a hug or a mm. massage or take me on a date. 
And I go on dates with my male friends too. Mandates. Mandates. <laughs> it's really beautiful. Mia, words of affirmation is a big thing for her, but it's very low down on my list. So most people have one primary love language and they have a secondary love language that is pretty important. And then the, the other three are usually not so important. Not everybody, some people it's spread quite evenly, but for most people there's like one or two that are the, the really top love languages. And so you need to understand what yours are. And this mm -hmm. is first date conversation. Yep, like whether, whether it's with a romantic date or a, or a friendship business date, partner, business, potential. this is first date mm, conversation. 100%. Get to know how you can show them love and you are winning from the outset. So that's it. We just wanted to give you a quick roundup of love languages. So Mia, you shared something really interesting about how you feel like your love languages have shifted, how they've evolved over yeah. time. Can you explain a little bit about okay. that? So when I first started looking into love languages, I was pretty certain that my love languages were um, quality time and words of affirmation. Over the course of the past four or five years, and I've done a lot of work on self-love, around receiving, around giving love, around everything. And I realized that my words of affirmation, a lot of the times was coming from a place of neediness and from a place of not feeling good enough. So that's why I wanted words of affirmation, but I could never actually fully receive them. So the more work I've done on words of affirmation and around why do I want these words? Why do I want this validation? The more I realized where I was from and the more I've healed that, the less I care about words of affirmation and the more I care about quality time. So I was speaking to one of my best friends a few days ago about this and him and I were talking about our love languages and how they've changed. And so if I was to list mine now, I'd say it's quality time, physical touch, words of affirmation, acts of service and gifts. Doesn't mean I don't like doing all of the, the rest for everyone else, I do. But quality time is so important to me. Amazing. And then it's physical touch. As you can see, I've like not stopped touching him. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm, I'm very touchable. I'm permanently on him. <laughs> um, but words of affirmation, I like them a lot, but they're not compulsory anymore. Mm -hmm. Let us know what your love do you languages want to list yours? are. Do you want to list yours? I told everybody mine. No, but do you want to like list mine them? Is, mine is physical touch, number mm -hmm. one, hugely number one. Quality time, number two. Then number three is words of affirmation and gifts and acts of service are just kind of a nothing. Um, words are kind of nice for me, but I don't really need them. Like it's an, it's nice when someone tells me I'm wonderful, I'm amazing. You're I'm beautiful. Like, yeah, but it doesn't <laughs> really fill me up properly. Mm. But everybody's different. Everybody's beautiful. I'd love to hear what your love languages are. Any questions, comment. Write them below. Comment below as well. And let us know your love languages. Yeah, if you subscribe as well and ask any questions, we'll let you know what you'll get a notification. If you click the little bell, you, post can get, notification. you can get notified when we post our next video. And we can do more follow-ups on this because this applies to so many different things. And we can go so, 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 so much deeper in it as well. Yeah. Hope you enjoyed it. Let us know. Comment below and we'll see you in the next video. <laughs> so we've been really thinking about how we should end our videos yeah we've spent a lot of time thinking about it and you know brainstorming and mastermind <laughs>